Gonna give it all up and head for the hills My heart is broke, my body hurts And I live every day like I'm gonna die young That's the man that I'm trying to be They say when I'm gone. Oh, what will they say when I'm gone? If my father would say that I'm proud of you, son, that's the man that I'm trying to become. Oh, what will they say when I'm gone? Oh, what they say when I'm gone. As hunters need to really pass on to others and not, you know, our industry a lot of times gets caught up in this idea that we need to make everybody a hunter. And I think there's value, obviously, in having more hunters. We need to have them. But I think we need to focus even more on just taking to the average person what these values are and why hunting is important. Not everyone's going to be a hunter. As a matter of fact, that's only about 5% of our population, which when I learned that was amazing to me because I assumed everybody hunt where I, hunted where I grew up. But that's not the case. So instead of just trying to make people hunters, I think what we need to do more so is make them aware of what hunting does for conservation, what it does for personal values, and how I think it just makes for a, a much better, well-rounded world, better people, better animals, better conservation. So it's not just about turning somebody into a hunter that, that's gonna pursue animals. I think it's just about the bigger picture and having a more educated population of people that understand what it is we do. So I think we've lost a little bit of our thoughtfulness and I think we need to be really careful about that because there's an entire world watching. You know, 5% of the world, 5% of the United States hunts. About five, maybe 10% are against us. Mm -hmm. That leaves a gigantic number in the middle, somewhere in the 80, 85% of the people who are watching who really hold the future of our sport in their hands. We gotta make sure we make a good impression on them. So this instantaneous nature of how we get the message out that it's accessible to everybody isn't necessarily a great thing, so we just need to be very careful and thoughtful about how we do that. going to make the decision obviously so we had that deer under us for 15 minutes oh my god oh, i'd be in panic justin. mode if i was justin right now like oh no oh nice yeah so he went down to the ditch right here exactly what it is. They don't bleed a lot. Thank you. 
Although Tom and myself both had tags, it was the fact that we were there because we were trying to end a tough streak that Foot has had the past couple of years. Watching him walk up on that white tail was something we'll all remember for a long time. Making a marginal hit on an animal is certainly one of the hardest things a hunter has to deal with. And for Nick and I and the whole crew to be alongside him during this recovery, number one, it's what got us through those tough moments. And number two, it's what made it that much sweeter in the end. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help. It's our first afternoon in Kansas. This wind is still, is still ridiculous. It's gotta be over 20, 25 miles per hour. And uh, it makes it really cold. I think the, on the way here, so it was like 40 degrees, but as soon as this wind comes through, it feels like it's 20. So we're bundled up. Didn't see a whole lot of movement this morning, but hopefully this night's a little different story. Can so you shoot zipper? No. Yeah. But, but the problem is, here's the, all these stands are set up for right-handed people. Oh, you're I'm left lefty? Yeah, 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 I, I forgot to do that. <laughs> I didn't forget to do Put that. Put them both in the guy. I forget these guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I'll back uh, to myself. French. I don't know the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that fun. Send you off. Oh, yeah. Fun time. It is fun. So last year we ended up playing board games. <laughs> it was such a This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Look for our on-site courses for tons of opportunity in learning outdoor video production at filmthehunt.com.
son rotates the tires, the mom cuts haircuts in the back. Cuts haircuts. Do you cut haircuts or do you do haircuts? I don't know, but we're about to find out because this is the place right here. Alright, cool. That's him. Yeah, yeah. So should I do the haircut first while he gets his tire rotation? Huh? It's like August. Yeah, my hair's never done. And then just blend and scissor cut the top. Pretty short. I mean, I usually wear it pretty short. Okay. Look at this. This is patriotic. I'm not saying that there's a lot up there, but the wife's gonna be happy. Wait, I'm gonna do the mohawk. That's awesome. Are you really? Yeah, why? I don't know. This is great. You're, you're okay with that, right? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I just wanted to make sure. You said it off. Like more battery. Yes. You had confidence in it, so. Foot always did a rut hawk, so this is definitely for him, but I don't know that he ever had such an epic rut hawk. You've even got more hair in the front than you do on top. I know, I don't know. So it's like this poofy, like, all I could do with it. <laughs> oh, look at this one picture I got. <laughs> you're like growling, you're like, ugh. I'll give you without laughing. I yeah, thank you very much. Pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you, yeah. Thank you very, very much. I have a concert to go sing, so we'll take off. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna head out. <laughs> It's day three at Creek Creek Outfitter. Another cold morning. We're in a transition area between two big CRP fields, so we checked the Onyx maps. It looks like a really good spot. Cameras show a couple big bucks in the area, but um, at this time of year, you just don't know what's gonna show up. We got our Badlands packs just loaded up with snacks and food. We're gonna sit all day long again. Been doing it a lot, hasn't paid off yet, but fingers crossed today could be the day. It's gonna be a long one, but you just never know. It's getting to the end.
Evrak. <sighs> it's about time. It's not the buck we're after, but it has been a long season for me. Peace up, brother. Brought the old good luck charm back from New York. Looking back at all I The whitetail rut is something every deer hunter dreams of. When we look back on this trip, we're not just leaving with three tags filled. We're leaving with the memories of one of the best weeks we've ever got to spend in the deer woods and how we got to share that week with each other. I wake up and get my tires rotated and then get a mohawk. <laughs> At the same place. Same place. Yeah, when I heard about it, I'm like, we're going. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a, an acoustic guitar and you just <laughs> had to rip out the gritty voice. <laughs> 